Hey everyone, Cor here, and this is vlog number two. I just want to update you that I'm hoping to do a top five Dragon Ball Z fights video coming out this week, hopefully. I just got to get to it. I'm a little busy right now, and I'm kind of hoping to get one of my friends to come help me on it, because they're just as big on Dragon Ball Z as me. At Dragon Ball Z was the first anime that really got me into the whole world of anime and really opened my eyes to see what animation cartoons could really do and how the storylines and everything like that could really be incredible. I mean, some anime storylines are better than anything that we could put out here. I mean, a one episode ep <laughs> one episode of freaking like Fooly Cooly or Outlaw Stars better than maybe half the movies that Hollywood ha has ever put out and that's pretty crazy since an episode's only 20 minutes compared to something that's almost two hours so yeah so I'm hoping to bring in one of my friends for that uh, <laughs> hopefully he's cool with it uh, maybe we'll bring in two or three who knows but yeah so it's gonna be a top five uh, Dragon Ball Z fight video hoping to bring put it out Friday. I'm really hoping Friday. If not Friday, then probably Sunday. But yeah, so look for that if you're subscribed to me and if you care. <laughs> or if you just want to see like what I thought were the best five fights in Dragon Ball Z. Uh, so yeah, so I know last week I did mention that I went to Davis and I kind of ranted a little bit uh, about sororities and alcohol and stuff like that. I'm going to be doing that uh, more with these vlogs. Uh, I hope they're not too annoying, but I just really want to put out a nice close to 10 minute video. Uh, just stuff that's been on my mind for the last week and stuff like that. Uh, I, I did start uh, school, uh, taking one class at a community college that's nearby. It's pretty much my last class I could take before having to transfer to a four-year school, which I'm hoping to transfer to uh, Cal State. And the class I'm taking right now is art, uh, visual visual art history. So pretty much we're going to cover a lot of stuff. A lot of it's just the mechanics. A lot of it's just the uh, words and all, all, it's all stuff like that. So it should be fun. I mean, it's a fun teacher that we have. And it's crazy because it's been three, four months since my last semester. So I took the summer off. But somehow I forgot how expensive books are. And wow, she she told she showed us the book. It's the tenth edition for two thousand eleven. The last edition was two thousand eight and then before that it was five and three. And Wow, like she even told us it's like about every two, three years a new edition comes out. And the schools always push for those new editions because that's how they make their money and stuff like that. It's really off book t tuitions and stuff like, like that. That how they make their money. But wow, like the book's 140 bucks new. And. Our school, like many others, I've heard that are starting to rent books for roughly about half the price of the book, new, and you don't have to worry about trying to sell it back later on. Well, there was some confusion because our teacher even told us about it that this book was supposed to be rentable, but it's not, and that sucks for a lot of people because. I myself, I prefer having a book in my hands than like either having my laptop for an ebook or copying the pages or whatever. Like whatever the alternative is, I rather have the book in my hands, have it in class and everything like that. But yeah, so wow, 140. I mean, she's cool. It's I really hope more teachers don't force their students to use these like the newest edition and allow them to go to a later edition even the edition before because she showed us the price difference from this 10th edition which is the newest one that came out this year 2011 
to the last edition, which was edition number nine, two thousand eight. The price for that book, twelve dollars online, and you get free shipping. Compared to one hundred forty bucks for a new one, like you're paying eight. It's it's like ninety two percent off. For three years, and the only difference is just maybe an extra chapter at the end. And I think she even said it was only like an extra maybe 20 pages or so. And it's sad, like how bad, how overpriced these are, especially since, well, okay, I could see art because she even told us it's like the art pictures and everything that are in there. It's like they had to kind of pay to put them in there. Like, they had to, for each picture, they paid the person, like, so much for each one and everything like that, for every book or whatever they sell. But some of the other ones, like a mathematic book, you, you don't have to pay anyone for those diagrams. You pay someone, I mean, the person that wrote, writes the book is the person that puts the, pro, like, the problems in there for you to answer. And... It's like, it's that's ridiculous. Like, it's, I think math books are like the most expensive books at a community college. And it's just nuts. Or, I mean, even at most colleges. I, I had a friend that took mechanical engineering last semester. And some of, I mean, I, I understand that his stuff is more complicated and everything like that. And. I mean, his books were in the 200 range, and I was like, holy crap. Like, that's freaking expensive. I kind of don't want to go to a four. I mean, luckily, I'm not doing his degree. Uh, I'm going more into film because that's just something I love. And I kind of told myself, it's like, I just want to do something I love and not just something that will get me by. Because originally, I was going to go as a math teacher because I like math, but... I like it. I don't love it. And I love movies. That's why I'm trying to set up this channel and everything. Um, but yeah, like, fuck, books are expensive. I, I really hope they go towards, like, ebooks and everything, because, okay, granted, for some of the stuff, like, art and everything like that, I mean, you could, you could Google, like, any of the images that you need and stuff like that, and you don't have to pay anyone. Google pays them or whatever, because they get the view, they get money, they get to, I mean, cipher it down to whoever. But yeah, like, it's it's nuts. It's kind of sad, but it's, whew. I wonder if it's if it's the same in every state. Um, I would think it would. It might be a little different, but yeah, like she said, like the markups like thirty three percent more than what. I guess the regular retail would be if you buy it like from the school and everything. I'm just glad I, I'm just glad she lets us buy the old editions. I mean she'll even let us use the eighth edition, which online is only like three bucks and you can still get free shipping. Which I'm probably gonna get that one. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, I'm I'm I i am i i am so it's only like one chapter that I'm going to have to look up online for pictures and stuff. But yeah, it's one of the things I wanted to talk about. It's just because a lot of schools are starting up right now. And I think other people are going to have the same problem. It's just, I mean, even if you have financial aid and stuff, that's still taking out a lot of your financial aid. I mean, I got financial aid the last few semesters. And pretty much that first check goes straight to books. For, I mean, it's just nuts. It's really crazy. But yeah, so if you have any comments, stuff like that, any stories about um, your <laughs> buying textbook experience through college, go ahead and leave a comment. Just anything really. I, I, I answer to pretty much every comment within a day or so. But yeah, so until next time, guys. Later.